going on YouTube this is 35 more good reasons to buy a k5 blazer part 2 55 and all this will be the finale all right number one exterior screws for changing headlights marker lights the side view mirrors and tail lights this is something you just don't see anymore uh, you got to take off bumpers and grills and bumper covers just just to replace headlights and vehicles these days it gets very time-consuming I took off this screw right here underneath there because I want to show you how easy it is to change out your, your side view mirror here from the outside. This is something you just don't see anymore. We'll fix this later, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a plus for uh, fixing your, your lights. It's a lot quicker these days. You just don't got to spend so much time on it. Exterior screw is definitely a thing of the past. Number two, metal emblems. These actually bolt in from the inside there metal emblems all around there's one here one here screws right in there pretty cool you just don't see metal emblems anymore they just got plastic stuff they glue on there and this stuff's always coming off in bad weather and stuff number three a metal body you see a lot more plastic on the bumper covers these days where people get in accidents and they put metal bumper covers they put plastic bumper covers on there though to cushion the blow uh, but you know you're totaling out vehicles a lot quicker and your vehicle is going to be in the shop a lot longer where years ago you get in a fender bender with metal bumpers your, your vehicle would be in the shop for like a day or two it'd be like 100 300 bucks you'd be back on the road almost the next day so you just don't see that anymore uh all metal body metal bumpers good stuff yep number four one of my favorite features about this vehicle how easy it is to change out your speakers exterior screws on the speakers Put a speaker cover from a 1985 Monte Carlo on there and uh, you can see you just pop them right off where you don't have to get into the door and change them out from inside the door you start taking panel and trim off like I said you just it never wants to go back on there right you break plastic clips and you break things and it's just a, it's a pain with the newer speakers these days so definitely a plus easily removable speakers <laughs> number two keys are cheap to make for it I'm gonna show you here what I have this down real quick get my key out right. you can see right here Damn. easily cheap reproductive keys uh, these are the keys to my exterior door and my uh, ignition these keys are about two dollars each to make cost you about four bucks you just don't see that anymore keys nowadays man you're talking like 300 bucks i mean it's just it's just getting a little ridiculous man i got other things to spend my money on with 300 bucks than a set of freaking keys you know <laughs> all right number six antenna and windshield this is something you just don't see anymore you can see these Let's see if i can focus on these two lines going up here uh all the way up here you can see it right there you just don't see the antennas and windshields anymore definitely a pretty cool uh a pretty cool feature you just don't see anymore uh, now you got some goofy looking fat plastic antennas on on vehicles and they just ain't uh they just ain't the same you know still pulls in a really good uh signal too so all right number seven ashtrays in the back seat something you don't see anymore uh if you're a smoker definitely a pretty cool truck for you because uh got your big ashtray up front here too and cigarette lighters i mean you're just not you're just not seeing these things in vehicles anymore they don't, they don't put cigarette lighters in vehicles anymore it's nice to have a fire device if someone needs a light or something somewhere you know yeah good stuff number eight individual electronic gauges unlike the gauges today the electronic gauges you could change just one individual gauge at a time rather than replace the whole cluster which can cost you upwards of, of hundreds of dollars these days you just you're just not seeing the uh you're just not seeing the um you know digital gauges anymore the electronic gauges just a, a lot cheaper a lot easier to work with yep all right close this up number nine trucks truck sits taller than newer trucks i do have a four inch lift kit in 33 12 and a half inch tires on this thing but this thing sits head and shoulders 
above any new vehicles on the road today. You're just not seeing a lot of that anymore. Uh, the truck seems like they just sit a lot lower these days. And, uh, you know, it's pretty nice to be sitting up high in traffic, see where you're going a lot better, you know. Number 10, they make Jeeps look wimpy because you're sitting up next to a Jeep at light or even just driving down the road somewhere or something. You're, you're sitting way taller than a Jeep. A lot more room for the passengers in the back too in this truck than the Jeeps and uh, a lot more cargo space in the back because uh, there's just not a lot of cargo space in the two-door Jeeps, you know. So, yeah. And uh, another number 11. All you need is a basic socket set, a set of wrenches, a flathead, and a Phillips head screwdriver, and you can pretty much dismantle this entire vehicle, unlike the vehicles today where you need all kinds of specialty tools just to work on the things, you know. All right, number 12, no third brake light. A lot of people say it just looks kind of goofy. I mean, people are looking straight ahead when you're driving the third brake light, but there's nothing like hitting your brakes and forming a goofy looking triangle. It's just no third brake light, I just think looked a little cooler. Uh, but uh, you just don't see the, um, the two uh, brake lights anymore on vehicles. Definitely, I always thought that just looked a little cooler, but uh, you know, yeah. Number 13, you can generally buy one for under $5,000. Definitely a plus. You can always put a little bit of money into it if it needs fixing up or anything like that. But the vehicles today, trucks today are starting off at like $40,000 plus dollars. I mean, I don't know how in the hell people can afford the things anymore. Uh, they say, I was just listening to on the radio the other day, 40% of America falls behind on at least one vehicle payment a year. And they wonder why, you know. Gets a little crazy. Yeah. Number 14. Parts are cheap for it. And it's easy to fix up. Parts are very easily accessible all around the engine compartment underneath the vehicle and just everywhere you can think of definitely a nice uh nice feature on this vehicle because uh, a lot of the stuff's located up in the front oh, they have a fuel pump for example is in the front in the hood where these days you know fuel pumps and stuff like that and a lot of gas stuff is right on you got to drop the whole gas tank to work on it so definitely uh, cost you a hell of a lot more in labor if you go have something like that done number 15 great for hauling furniture especially when it rains you ain't got to worry about it getting wet because you got the roof uh, pickup trucks you got to put plastic and you got the wind whipping against it where it's here it's protected by the roof and it's great for the drive-in too we got a couple drive-in movie theaters around here uh, definitely pretty nice you know you got your privacy i did get this window tinted here since my last video the last video i put up the uh, 20 good reasons to buy a k5 blazer you'll see some uh improvements on this thing oh like five years ago so yeah 16 Unlike big pickup trucks today, it can actually fit into a garage. A lot of trucks, unless you got a really big garage or a pole barn or something, uh, it's definitely uh, definitely pretty nice. It fits into a garage and easy to fit into a parking spot. That's number 17. Very easy to back in and out of a parking spot because of the short wheelbase. Number 18, a nice 6,000 pound towing capacity. This trailer hitch here is uh, weighted for 10,000 pounds, but I googled it on the internet and uh, you're probably looking at uh, about 6,000 pounds, it said, depending on the, the trim level. Uh, but uh, definitely that'll haul a vehicle, about a 24 foot boat, about anything you want to haul, a pretty good sized trailer. So uh, it's, it's, it's got a lot of butt back there to haul some stuff, which I just got that. Uh, trailer hitch there for Christmas uh, definitely a pretty cool uh, pretty cool feature a lot of towing capacity all right number 19 this is something that people don't think about a lot but you know I've something that I've noticed not a lot of curves so that makes it easy easier to wash and wax you got a lot more curves you know these trucks nowadays are they're kind of looking like um, you know bubbles and they're kind of looking like eggs so the thing is this is just a lot easier to wax and work on things like that definitely um you can see along here if you stream along there there's only really the curb right there and the old box trucks definitely uh pretty cool uh pretty cool a lot easier to do yeah all right number 20 the ability to go anywhere with the right tires and the monster 31 gallon gas tank man i mean <laughs> this thing go anywhere you go definitely a uh, a pretty cool feature uh, you know, definitely uh, nice in any kind of weather, you know. Yep. Number 21, it is just all around, I mean, it is just a rugged looking truck. I mean, this is definitely 
one of the more the 70s and 80s i think put out the most rugged looking vehicles of some of the most rugged looking trucks you know i'd ever seen the 90s were pretty good too but uh you know they definitely just ain't uh they just ain't making them like they used to all right number 22 another feature i like too i'm gonna show you here let me jump in here real quick okay 22 what we got here an old school more stylish looking rear view mirror nowadays <laughs> you got the uh you got the uh what do you call that the emergency uh you got bluetooth buttons on these things you got all kinds of uh you know on star and stuff like that on star was what i was looking for and uh you know the only thing i do is uh maybe hang my sunglasses on them which this hook here that's, that's pretty much gone too that's a thing in the past but that was really nice for putting a little hook on there a little one of the little rings and hanging her sunglasses on you just don't see that anymore but uh more stylish looking rear view mirror i was always a bigger fan of that i uh, just definitely uh pretty cool to um to have in your uh your vehicle there all right and number 23 garage door opener <coughs> grips these old sun visors a lot better because they're a lot thinner I notice with the fatter visors now the clips they just don't grab as good but I got a garage door opener here too but it's in the garage right now I got to get a new battery for it but uh I've noticed that I drive newer vehicles in the garage door opener when you're driving no matter how you put it up there where you do it and how much you adjust that metal clip it'll want to you know, hit some bumps and it'll come down smack you right in the face old sun visors thinner a lot better number 24 we go we'll close this up 1986 and back features the carburetor you gotta love the carburetor fuel injectors these days will cost you about 300 250 bucks and up a piece to replace whereas the carburetor you can rebuild one for like 40 bucks or get a whole brand new carburetor for 300 bucks you ain't got to worry about a bunch of fuel injectors nickel and diamond need to death definitely pretty cool stuff number 25 this is something i've really noticed too I've had this truck now for about five years and let me tell you something when you're driving it road respect you want a lane you got it people look over compliment you all the time they're waving like looking at it like honking at you giving you the thumbs up you just get more road respect I mean you want to pull out in traffic or change lanes you got it I mean people just seems like everywhere I go people love this thing all right number 26 more cargo space than modern SUVs you can see the width and the depth of this. I think I said something about this on my old, my old video where you can fit a lot of mountain bikes back here. You need bike racks and roof racks nowadays just to fit a lot of stuff because um, it's uh, just not as much cargo space in there. And, you know, it's good for groceries and stuff, too. I mean, I've had all kinds of stuff in here. I've, like, had a bunch of cinder blocks in there. And it, they said it's weighted for about 4,000 pounds in there, so you can load that dude up. I mean, it'll, it'll take a lot of weight. This thing is a workhorse. All right, I'm going to turn my paper over here. Put this down real quick here. All right, number 27. Yeah, kind of similar to what I said earlier, but the fuel pumps, easy to access, uh, radiator, fan belt, everything, just all the parts, just so much more easily accessible. A lot more room to work in between all the parts because. Uh, you just, you just got a lot more room up underneath these things and uh, inside of the hood and everything. Let me pop it in and give you a little tour here. That's another thing I like too about these older vehicles. Is everything was in the same place, man. The door handles and getting in and out and the hood. I have a hell of a time just finding the how to open the hood or roll, roll down windows up and down these days with some of these vehicles. It gets crazy. <laughs> All right. You see the fuel pump, I mean. And it's right there. I mean, easily accessible spark plugs. I mean, uh, you don't got the distributor caps on some of the newer vehicles. You know, it's kind of older school here, but uh, you can just see how easily accessible everything is. Um, you really don't need to move anything out of the way when you come in here to fix something. It's uh, definitely, uh, it's just a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot of time consuming. I, uh, the blower motor, I mean, it's right there. I mean, you got... Uh, your uh, heater core, 
I mean, heck, it's right there. I mean, I don't know. I think the only thing I had to do to replace the heater core was take off the glove box and uh, opened it up a little bit, and it, it's right there. The heater core these days, you got to start taking the dashboard off apart and everything with these vehicles now, and uh, gets a little crazy. But uh, yeah, anyway, just wanted to show you a little tour there in it. All right. Number 28. This is something you just don't see anymore. All around exterior locks. Lock there, lock for the back, and the passenger side door lock. Man, so many of these vehicles don't even have door locks these days, man. And it's kind of a pain when you got a bunch of stuff in your hand or groceries or someone else has the keys and you can't even get into the passenger side. You know, man, that's a pain in the butt, man. I'm gonna start putting some door locks back on these vehicles. You know, maybe they do it as an anti theft device thing, but. Having all around anti, having all around door locks, it's, it's pretty nice, man. I, I miss that. A lot of people I'm do. A lot of people do, I'm sure. Number 29, it's a freaking two door, man. You know, all these vehicles nowadays, you know, the truck, the pickup trucks, man. Some people like four doors, but I know a lot of men. I know a lot of men don't. I mean, it's it's convenient if you got kids and you're getting in and out the back a lot. But usually when I see people driving trucks, man, they're usually just one person in there. I mean, having the four door. Uh, trucks, I don't think look as cool as the two doors, but everyone's all on their own. Everyone's got their own opinion, but uh, two doors seem like they're becoming a thing of the past. Here's another feature I like too. If you lock your keys in the vehicle, a simple hanger will get you in there fairly easily because back then you had the softer trim up here. It was a lot easier to, uh, to work your keys in there because of this. Man, if you lock your keys in your vehicles nowadays, man, you're pretty well screwed. Uh, <laughs> you either got to call the cop to come jimmy them out for you or um, you got to call someone else if you got a spare key for them or something but uh, you definitely uh, locking your keys in your vehicle wasn't too big of a deal back then it's just a lot easier to get into number 31 the pre airbag easier to turn steering wheel the steering wheel before the airbag was just a lot easier to turn the steering was just this just makes it a lot funner and much more enjoyable to drive uh, definitely a plus because um you know it's just it's just funner to drive that's all i gotta say so yeah number 32 the radio sits closer to the driver the radio nowadays is usually sitting about in the middle of vehicles now uh, the driver has really good access to the radio you can see it is really close to the driver much more so than the passenger because uh you know if you're driving the vehicle i think a lot of times the driver should have control of the radio you know it kind of kind of sets the mood you know yeah all right Number 33, here you go, I like this one. I usually put this dude in the winter in the garage. And uh, what I like about it is easy, easy to siphon gas. Because sometimes I got a snow blower and stuff, and you know, I like that. I can just stick a hose right down there and uh, siphon gas out. Nowadays, they got like little metal things in the way where you can't, you can't even stick a hose in these things now because uh, it's just, uh, you know, probably like a, safety thing someone steals no one steals your gas or something but uh i like to siphon gas out of there every so often if i don't drive it for a while and uh you know stick it in my lawnmower or you know blower in the back of the shed or something you know yeah all right 34 large center console for storage this is something else that's a pretty cool feature here uh you can put a lot of storage you can put a lot of stuff in here here's a key i can lock too but you can see you can get a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I got some harnesses and straps in there and stuff, and uh, yeah, some sunglasses I keep in there. But uh, you can even put your uh, your cell phone here too. Charge your cell phone. Got a little place for your cell phone, your drinks. Pretty nice center console. Definitely a good uh, good thing to have when you're on the run and on the move, you know. And finally, number 35 enough room to put your hand in between the seats when you drop something in there man i tell you they ain't never got enough room to drop anything in there and key you know people are always you're always dropping money or maybe some food in there or something when you're on the move and you actually got room to put your hands down here and grab stuff when you drop something you know that's definitely you just don't see that anymore nowadays man they got like this much room between there you can't never get your hand down in there you know so definitely another plus for the k5 blazer all right so there you go there's my video definitely uh a lot of pluses a lot of good features to this truck you buy one i'm telling you you won't be disappointed uh, you buy one in decent shape they just ain't making them like this anymore uh, the new blazers now are 
they're pretty wimpy compared to this thing i'll tell you what so uh buy a k5 blazer and uh you'll be real happy with it i'm sure all right